So, Rasta over the years, a lot of Rastafari bridging come to Rastafari, the Celestia, through the Bible. You know, he used the Bible to validate why he is a Rasta and why Ayla Selassie is who he Ayla Selassie is. Now, through technology and through information, there's a lot of things that we know now that we never know then. But what we find out is that a whole heap of, well not only Rasta, a whole heap of people afraid of new information. So when they find new information now, they prefer to hold on to the old belief system and, don't, and reject something that is factual and true. Why do I say that? Because in reading the Bible, we can see say there are certain things that is invalid right now. It's not necessary. Because after 4,000 years, a man writes something. Oh, you know, I will try to live after that something when Science and technology and human beings and modern things advance. I mean, it's kind of stressful. If you know, if you hear, you say, you hear Rastaman quote certain things in the Bible, Isaiah, Jeremiah, and all these things, and I evaluate Jesus when he said, Jesus, try to find all sort of way. What i actually do is accept a white Jesus, but black meat. Now, if you accept a white Jesus and the things in the Bible about Jesus, and you say Jesus is not a white man, he's a black man. But now you change your colour of the man, but you still hold on to the things where the Bible says about the white man. How that possible? How that possible? Because it don't make no difference then. The colour don't make no difference. If you are going to associate a man, I, 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 I feed 5,000 people with, with how much? Five, 12 barrel over and five fish or whatsoever. Or him a walk on water. And then you are say, no, it's not a white man, it's a black man. But you tell us about the black man feed 5,000 people with some little fish and thing and at the same as walk on water. It's craziness. It's craziness. We are talking about Rastafari as a, a movement of people who is searching for liberation from white supremacy and oppression from white people you know, from them days there. But we now incorporate something that pacify we. And right now we see the Bible, especially the New Testament, as a pacifying force in a most Christian belief and in a Rastafari. Because all we can talk about now is echoing one love, one love, one love. And it's managed to say, until the philosophy that all one race superior and the other inferior is finally and permanently abandoned. What is the philosophy that all one race superior and the other inferior? It's racism. Racism and white supremacy. That is the philosophy. There's a philosophy and you don't want it more pronounced like now than in America where you see how much black people are getting shot down by white people. And when you see all the COVID that go across the nation, it's on colored people, black people and lat lat Latinos and them things that have the most of it because there's a embedded racism in America. We don't allow for certain Medicare and all these things to go inside of the communities of African people and Latino people. So when a man say, until the philosophy that all, when I listen to that, say, until the philosophy that all one race superior, what is the philosophy? When you talk about the philosophy that I is that stable, what are you saying? Because him, 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 him craft him words right until the philosophy that all one race superior and the other inferior. What is it that all one race superior and the other inferior? Racism and white supremacy. But in the end, him say, until that day, we Africans will fight if it is necessary. Because we are confident in the victory of good over evil. Until that day. Which day? Which day? Because we're going to fight. We're going to fight and fight and fight until liberation is our goal. And that was what Rastafari, Leonard Owell, and all these men came with. They come with a liberation movement that was to turn into religion now. That we see certain man afraid 
When them see white people for talk about African consciousness and African awareness, because they don't want to up, make, make the white person feel away funny. When you talk about film liberation, 